guys and welcome to FaithWorks Designs. I'm Faith and today we're taking a little tour of my sewing room. I wanted to give you guys some ideas for storage. Um, most of this video is going to be IKEA stuff because I have a problem. I love IKEA. If you have a lot of like little things that need to be organized or, or stuff like that, IKEA is a really great store to go to if you have one in your area. Um, I make a list of everything that I need and I kind of do my research online and see if everything is going to fit where it is because I do have a very small sewing room. Um, I share my sewing space with my daughter so I have a very limited amount of space to be able to kind of go out. So I, as you can see behind me through most of my videos, I've had to go up with everything that I have. So I found a lot of help going to Ikea um, just because I need a lot of storage so that I can find what I need because I have a lot of different customers that like a lot of different things. So I have a lot of different stuff and I need to be able to find it rather quickly than having to go through and look through a bunch of stuff. So I figured I'd take you guys around a tour of my sewing room, show you a couple of the tricks that I use uh, for storage for some of my random things that you don't know exactly where to put them. So hopefully you guys will like this video. Let's get started. So originally the idea was to put the calyx upon that wall. However, I did not take into account all of my angles and a windowsill. So, I ended up having to put the calyx over here, and then I just went ahead and utilized the shelf over here. In the all right, so we're pre-fabric folding, all that stuff we're getting ready to do. I apologize for the light. It's really dark in this hallway uh, in the evening times. So, uh, I've got my two recovered boxes. I have a video for that because they've got some cute little... Um, fabric on it. Alright, now the big thing, we already had a shelf here and I just thought I would utilize it, excuse all of that, that's my husband's books, um, but I went ahead and utilized it while I was here. I've got my serger up here, I've put my sewing machine cover over top of it so it won't get all dusty when I'm not using it. Um, I've got patterns in here, I finally broke down and got a file box and I've started putting all of my patterns in there, the ones that are small enough to fit. And then I've got like all of this random stuff that I need and I can't get rid of, which is really annoying. <laughs> I've got a couple of bases for my sewing machines to kind of extend your sewing machine table out. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, spools, holders. I don't want to get rid of those because I have a feeling I'm going to need them. So I'm just going to hang on to them for right now while I have the extra space. And this dust is getting to me. Okay, uh, I got tons of foam I gotta work with, so I'm just right now utilizing the stuff that I don't need like every day. I'm trying to find like a corner to just kind of cram it in there. Um, and that's what that space is gonna be utilized as. This space is gonna be used to harbor all of my fabric. And when I get done with it, uh, we're gonna go in a room in just a second so I can show you how I'm gonna fold it all up and put it on here. Um, I'm utilizing the top for my bigger bolts. I have to buy in bulk a lot because of the work that I do. Um, so I figured those can just hang out there. They could actually go in the calyx um, components, but I have a feeling I'm going to need as many openings as I possibly can get. Um, if anybody has any ideas for storing big bolts of batting, let me know. Because right now that's what I've got to work with. So, Alright, so let's go in the sewing room and see how far that's going. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys the original, original setup that I had. This has worked for a while now. I just took some foam board and I cut them to the width of my box. And then I just kind of rolled them up so it didn't matter how fat they got, they just wouldn't get any longer. And this has worked for a while, however, when I get really busy and I'm constantly working, it can get in a mess. I'm not going to show you the bottom box. <laughs> Um, but I've cleaned this one out really good. Um, this is the box that I keep like my several yards in, of, of fabric in. Um, stuff that I have like just a little bit of scraps and stuff I keep in that one on smaller cards. Um, but as far as this goes, it works until I'm really busy. And then it doesn't. <laughs> or if a customer wants to see all of the fabrics that I have, I have to constantly like pull them out to show a customer and then this box ends up getting a mess and because there's two boxes I'm constantly taking one off of the top of the other one and so it's just not working anymore so we're gonna start by taking I want to use what I've got because I feel like it would be such a waste to throw all this out so I'm gonna take the foam boards that I already have 
in those. I'm going to unwrap everything and then I'm going to cut them down to 13 inches. Now the calyx openings are like 13 by 13. So I figured if I stand them up tall, 13, they can. it doesn't matter how fat they are. So I'm going to unroll all of these, cut them down to 13 inches, and then start re-rolling them. All right, guys, so I got to kind of talk low. My husband works nights and he is sleeping right now, but I wanted to show you the finished product so that I can get this video out. So originally, I wanted to take that sewing machine and put it up there, but then I bought all of this foam. So she's going right there for right now until some of this gets used. Um, I figured all of my interfacings up here at the top, I, I go ahead I make so much, I went ahead and just bought the whole bolt of a lot of stuff so that I don't have to con continually keep ordering stuff. Now, as you'll see, I had those two totes of fabric. I did downsize and get rid of some of them just because it was just too much. So, um, but putting these on these 13 by 13 boards has saved me so much space. Like I still have room to put stuff in here and it's really really nice so I do have some foam I save every inch of foam I've got so that I can use it for straps and stuff like that that's a nice place to have those um, I do need another box for my projects that I'm working on and I love how deep Ikea's drawers are because that sewing machine fits in there really nicely so that might stay there I don't know we'll depend we'll figure it out so I do have more fabric than I need to fold onto the 13 by 13s, but we're getting ready to go on a trip, so that's where they're going to stay. Either way, they're not taking up as much space as they were. So I'm happy with this situation right this minute. I've got these two boxes full of stuff. Um, if you watched my video, I have a video on covering the IKEA boxes. And I've got some sewing fabric on there and I love them so much. Uh, this cart is also from Ikea and I love it so much because I've used it a lot. Um, ignore my husband's books over there, they're not there. <laughs> so I pull this out when I'm going to cut like in my room or sew in my room and I could just take what I need with me and then roll it back out here. It's really been nice because I do, I have had to do some hand sewing lately so that's my little toolbox with my hand sewing stuff. Um, just all of my random stuff, my wax paper for appliqueing, um, just, just a bunch of stuff. So let's see, what else? Um, I do have my waterproof canvas all rolled up there and my foam. Uh, for right now, this is going to work. Um, we are on a budget, so this is going to work for right now until I can think of anything else. If you guys have any suggestions... Uh, for better storage, please comment in the section comment section down below and let me know. I would love to hear more storage solutions because I have a limited space and I have really, really downsized my fabric so that this situation can work. This is all the space I've got. Okay, so this is the next thing that I want to show you. IKEA has these really cool curtain um, I don't want to say rods. They're not really rods. They're more or less these little things that you can get. And the wire, you use these clips to hang up your curtains instead of using a rod. Well, I saw this on um, one of the YouTube channels I have surfing. Um, trying to find some way to hang up all of my zippers because I have a ton of zippers. What I did was I kind of color coded everything. And all I did, as you can see, is I just clipped them on there like that. That one's by itself, but I've got several that have like a bunch clipped on there together. And that way your zippers aren't sitting in a drawer and you're not having to like sift through them. But basically you just put up that one there, that one there, and then measure. And I have a lot of zippers on there right now, so I probably need to take them down and redo that wire. But for right now, that is going to do for my zipper storage. Now I have been using a lot of zipper tape, so if you use zipper tape, this may work. Um, 
you know, if you only buy like a yard at a time or something like that, um, that could work, but I've got another storage solution for that. Okay, so here is my all around storage solution. Uh, you can see I've got some zipper tape up there. What I've done is just rolled it up and then put it in its little cubicle of stuff and things. And I actually kept the zipper pulls with them. Hopefully you can see that. Just so that um, I knew which zipper tape went to which zipper pull. Um, and I also kind of anally separated everything from like I've got all of my rainbow stuff over here, all of my silver stuff here, and then my rose gold over there. Um, these little containers, and I forget what they're called, but I'll have to link them down below. They are really nice. Um, when I first went to Ikea and I was looking for storage solutions, I got these little guys. And they're nice that you can just slip stuff in, but you can't see what it is. You can take them out and you can look down on them and see what they are, but I didn't really like that storage solution. I really like these because I can see in front of me what I'm looking at. And it's not as organized as it could be because I've been really busy. But anyway, um, so you've got everything at your hands and you can see what you've got. I really, really like these. You can take these off as well. Uh, but really all you do is just slide this clear plastic lid off and then put it back. And those are really nice. And I think that is the 32 inch board there. And you can see how many I've got on there. I could actually put more uh, if I reorganized them. The next thing, I've got a lot of random weird stuff. People always ask me for stuff that I never, have. I never know what I'm going to get. So I keep what I can. Um, ribbon is one thing I use once in a blue moon. So I've got it, they've got these little paper towel rolls over um, at Ikea. I put my spools of ribbon on there and that's a nice storage solution. I do need to do something about that one hanging. Um, now elastic. Many of you guys have been using elastic. If you've got the elastic coming in one of these things, they've got these little pegs at Ikea that'll go right on your board and they fit really nicely right up on there. So I've got those two set up there. I've got one of those using to hold all of my like random stuff and things. Now I hoard a little bit apparently and <laughs> I try to figure out the best solution for me. I need to be able to see what I've got and I've got so much over here. This is stuff that I don't use every single day but I'll use it randomly. Like I don't make backpacks every day, but I need to have them in case somebody wants a backpack. So I keep all of that stuff right here. Um, you see, can see I've got those little hooks again. They're really nice. Um, I find that a little easier to just grab instead of going up here and sorting through some stuff. For me, that's the best option. Now they do have these little hooks and I like them a lot because they're great for like scissors and things that you just need to get out of the way, but you need it hands of reach. So I can just go up here, grab my scissors, hang it back up pretty easily. So I love these little hooks and I'll try and remember to link everything down below. Down below. The next thing is this rack down here. This is actually used for the kitchen and it's with the kitchen materials, but I love these little containers because they, they can go on this thing and they slide, but you can keep everything that you need in here. This is all of my scissors and random stuff that I don't need. Well, I need, but I need, I need it in hands reach, but I don't need it like all over my table. So I can put it in this container and then simply lift it off, take this to the sewing machine table with me, use them and then come back and put it back on there. Um, I just don't have a lot of space in my sewing room, so I've got to use my ver you know, my vertical space. I've got to grow up. Um, then I don't know if I've ever shown my, my thread situation, but I went ahead and got two of the really large spool um, holders. And then what I did was I just screwed them to the wall so that they're out of the way. They're not having to stand up on a dresser or something like that. Um, but they're out of the way. And the next thing I want to show you is my favorite of favorite IKEA hacks is making your own table with Alex drawers. Now you can have just one of those Alex drawers and a leg on this side 
and that way you have more room to work um, because of having to switch my sewing room around which I'll show you in a second um, I had to figure something out I need storage for a lot of stuff I, I do a lot of different things so I need storage for a lot of different items so all of these drawers are nice I've got some mailing stuff I've got um, my fabric weights I've got a bunch of different stuff so let me show you one thing that I learned this year I had asked some people about vinyl storage vinyl is really hard to store um, and I just couldn't find a solution that I liked and then someone shared the Alex hack so you vinyl is supposed to be rolled you can't have it folded up with your rest of your fabric so I just rolled up all of my stuff and I probably could have done it a little bit nicer <laughs> but it's just me nobody's looking at it so I can go through here and I can look for the different vinyls that I need for my different projects so I really like this storage solution um, it's out of the way and I don't have to look at it I just as you can tell I just kind of I don't like a bunch of clutter it drives me crazy but anyway so the Alex cabinets are really really nice they actually have one that's um, from about here to about here it's a lot longer and it's better for like paper if you scrapbook stuff like that I'm really tempted to get one when I get more space for like my larger um, patterns that would be really awesome so anyway um, I'm gonna have to go get myself a tabletop right now and it's not really the best solution I've got two thick pieces of cardboard up there holding that up. Um, I haven't used it too much because the cardboard underneath there isn't super sturdy. But I'm going to have to go, and that's why I love Ikea. You can measure your space that you have, and then how, how deep it is. I already know. And then you can get a tabletop pretty much for what you need. You just need to know your measurements and then you can just add it on top of that you can get a leg and just use one of the Alex drawers it just depends on how much storage that you need so I think this is a really great fix um, I enjoyed it a lot more when it was my big table but it'll be it'll be alright for what we've got going on now so I wanted to show you guys my new sewing situation so my table was roughly about out here it was 31 inches wide by 72 inches long so I am doing some super major adjustment not having all of that table talk to work with but doing as much business as I do my machine just couldn't hold up with me so what I did was I my husband who's amazing went online and did some research on these things and it's uh, from sale right the machine is from sale right um, sewing machines they do all kinds of stuff but I got the fabricator and I just wanted to show you guys because it's a really beautiful machine um, you put the oil down in here which those of you that don't know you need to oil your machine <laughs> every now and then um, you put the oil down in here you lift this back put the oil in there and I don't have to worry about it I don't have to constantly worry about if I've oiled my machine or not or any of that stuff I really really like it she is a workhorse I have not named her yet if you guys can think of a really good name for her let me know lean towards the lagatha because she's awesome but anyway the fabricator is awesome let me also share with you guys while I'm here I found a really cool site to buy some of my hardware from if you guys are gonna be doing bags and stuff it's uh, more me no and I'll share the link down below um, but I got this magnet I think it's really cool and I should have already had my scissors out here but it's a magnet that hooks to your sewing machine and I've always wanted something that I could just go yes I love this so much because now when I'm working and I need to cut something but I don't want to lose my scissors or have them knocked off by something I'm doing whoops, I can just put them there and it's so nice and it's been such a saver trying to look for my scissors and stuff so check out her website she has a couple of these magnets and they're really cool alright so what did you think hopefully you guys got some good ideas from it um, I'm still in the process of working on my room uh, now that I've got this new desk uh, with a sewing machine I have kind of a little less uh, work top space to work with so I'm trying to figure out another space in my house that I can go cut my fabric and stuff with because it's not there's not much room between the sewing machine and the edge of the table which is fine but 
I need a little bit of space to cut. So we're going to figure all of that out eventually. So if you'd like more information on the sewing machine that I purchased, um, just leave those comments down in the comment section down below. Um, I love her. She's a very good sewing machine. However, it did take a minute to put her together and I chose a bad time of the month to try it. So uh, wouldn't recommend that. Uh, she's a good sewing machine, but you just need to know how to put things together or have a husband that knows how to put things together because mm, that was fun. Anyway, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you want to subscribe and hang around for some more sewing videos, this is probably going to be the only organi organizing video I'll be doing. If you want to hang around for some more sewing videos, just click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you in the community. Also, if you have any questions about the sewing machine, about the IKEA products, um, I would love to like go to IKEA and show you guys some ideas that I have. I have great ideas, but like need some <laughs> to execute them. Uh, if you are interested in that, let me know. Maybe I'll take my camera next time I go and show you guys some of the things I want to do when I get more space and more. So this video, by the way, is not sponsored, but IKEA. Thanks for joining us again on Faith Works Designs. Bye, guys.